Another Bitcoin and Litecoin breakout. Which way will we go? What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. Hope everybody's having a fabulous Saturday. And I want to wish everybody a happy weekend. Um, we're going to take a look at the charts. I'm going to show you my targets real quick. I know it's Saturday and it's a holiday weekend in America. And people got stuff to do, so I'm going to try to zip through this as quick as possible. Um, just don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section down below. That'll get you entered to win a free t-shirt. The drawing's tomorrow. So definitely don't forget to do that. Also, check out the links down below in the description. Um, they're affiliate links to help out the channel. Um, there's a Coinbase link, Abra link to get some free Bitcoin if you make deposits. Also, Brave Browser link. If you haven't checked out the Brave Browser, I suggest you do it. And the other one is a ledger. Um, definitely, guys, keep your crypto safe. Uh, buy it directly from ledger. Don't buy it on Amazon or whatnot. Get your cryptos off the exchange if you're not trading them. Um, not your key, not your crypto. So definitely check that stuff out. And let's get into the video. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or any investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind that it's still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And if you're new here or you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on the lower right-hand side of the screen. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. That way you don't miss out on anything as I do post every day and that'll notify you when I post them. Also, smash your likes. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think, guys. And share the video if you like the content. Get it out there. Let's keep growing this channel. It's doing amazing. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you for it. And let's see what's going on. Looking at the weekly in Litecoin. Um, as we talked about yesterday and been talking about for a little while now on the weekly, we're having a bullish cross here. Um, and that's extremely bullish. This is my 21 EMA, the blue one, crossing the 55, which is the yellow one. Um, if this works out and we get this cross here, we're going to have a, a, a extremely nice move up, guys. And we'll probably see some of it this weekend. Now, let's go into the daily and kind of look at the more uh, recent and see what's going on and what we're looking at. So, first off, let's, let me zoom back out here. We're going to take a look at my bigger targets and look at where we might be headed so all right guys um obviously i put a higher one up there too so let's check them out we we're looking at this as a bull or a, i'm sorry a cup and a handle uh with the neckline here at uh, about 94 and the measured move off that one guys is the 167 area i'm still definitely looking towards that area um and we do have other targets, obviously, on our way to get there where we're going to have resistance, but keep an eye on these trend lines here. I still think these are pretty significant, guys. We could have a huge move coming. I want you to be aware of that. And looking at this as a bigger cup and handle, which we formed here, <clears throat> excuse me, and the neckline being around the 108. And if we put this up here, that gets us to this higher target of the 192. Um, that is definitely possible, guys. I believe there's a lot of good stuff going on in the crypto market. So keep an eye on that. We're going to look at the daily RSI. Um, this is the rising channel we were watching, which right here we had kind of a bear trap. Um, question is, what do we do here? We may be coming back down to test this again before, you know, a continuation up. But we're going to keep an eye on that. We're going to look at the four hour and see what that's telling us um as you can see in the yellow here or green i'm not sure which it is i'm colorblind in case you guys didn't know but anyways um looking at this falling channel here which we've been respecting this as the this is the support up here or resistance up here and support down here we had a falling wedge here which we broke out of came into a falling channel broke out of in another falling channel broke out of we may create another falling channel here, guys, and uh, definitely keep an eye on that. This could be topped out for now, but I do believe we're probably going to reset the RCI, RSI before I move up. 
We're going to take a look at that in the price action and see what that's telling us. So, all right, going to the measured moves here. Um, as you, if you guys have been watching, you know we watched this as a possible huge bull flag. This is the this would be the flagpole over here, and you'd take the measured move off the flagpole, which gets us up to the 116, 117 area. Um, I do see that, and I see us possibly going as high as 145 within the next few days. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I, I believe we may be having a big push move or a big move up here. Um, unless we get rejection here, obviously, and come back down. But it's looking good, guys. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to take care, take a look at the worst case scenarios. Um, if you guys remember, we were watching this trend line we popped down out of. And I had been talking about it for a couple days that if we could break back through this, we're going to have a nice move up. And that's, that's where we're at now. Um, it's possible we come back down and test this again. Uh, let's say around the $95 range. And if it breaks, we're looking at the $85 range, which would be this um, rising broadening wedge or ascending broadening wedge. Um, and that's what leads me to believe if we do have a huge move up, um, that would also bring us to the top of this trend line here where they meet around the 144 to 145 area. Um, that's definitely possible. Keep that in mind as long as we can get through this 116 area. Um, so this is our first area I'm watching as long as we don't break down to here. Bearish scenario is if this doesn't hold the $84 to $8,500 range, if we were to come down and touch the bottom of this rising wedge, then we're looking at retesting the top of this channel, which is around the $65 range, guys. And if we break through there, we're looking at the long-term trend line, which is going to be around $51, $52. Bucks. That's the worst case scenario, guys. I'm not expecting it. Um, I'm definitely still expecting a move up here. But definitely do your own due diligence. Do your own charting. Um, you know, come up with your own decision for your own money. So that's that. Let's look at Bitcoin now. Same thing as start out on a weekly. It looks like we may have a beautiful weekly candle here. Um, we can get up into this area where I believe we're going to be going. And also you can see we're having a possible bull, a bullish cross here too. Same thing as Litecoin. Uh, the 20, 21 EMA crossing the 55. If we do, it's going to be nice and bullish, guys. But do keep in mind, we will have a correction um, at some point here, probably after the 9,000, in my opinion. Um, so I don't believe it's going to be as huge of a correction as people think. I don't I don't believe that we're probably going to see below 6,000 again. Um, maybe not below 6,600. And I'll show you why towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. We're going to take a look at that Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart and see where we're at on that. Uh, we've been watching that for a while now and it's playing out beautifully. So if you haven't seen it, definitely make sure you stick around and watch that. Let's go into the daily chart and see what we're looking like here. I do have these targets in here. Um, same thing as Litecoin pretty much on how we found the measured moves, but I'll go through it for you real quick. We're looking at this as a cup and a handle and this would have been the measured move and we had a target up here at 80 the 83 to 8400 range and we did hit it um and now obviously it looks like we're making another bull flag here um also i was looking this is my next measured move was looking at this as a ascending broadening wedge and we did a measurement from the top of the wedge to the bottom from where we broke out and that gets us up to the 9622 range for my target. And I still holding strong to that. I still believe we're going to reach that. Um, worst case, maybe come back down, test this at the $7,000 range. But we'll take a look at that in a minute. And we'll take a look at the bearish scenario also. Let's look at the daily RSI. And just a reminder, guys, don't be paying those guys to uh, get their trading courses and stuff. All you're doing is feeding their gambling habit and contributing to their lifestyle while you are doing nothing but paying for you know crap if they were that good they wouldn't be have they wouldn't have to sell their courses they would make more money trading so definitely think about that don't get ripped off guys there's a lot of scams going on in the crypto world especially with that stuff and it's making crypto look bad you know the newcomers come in they pay these guys they lose all their money and then they 
you know, don't want anything to do with crypto again. We got to get that stuff out of the space. I know we'll never get rid of it, but make people aware anyways. So looking at the rising channel here, resistance line on the top, support on the bottom. And when we broke through here, I drew this white support line in here. And when we, obviously it supported us and now we're trying to get back in the channel here. If we don't get back in the channel, obviously guys, we're looking at a more bearish move, but I, I do, like I said, I still believe we're bullish here. And let's look into the four hour RSI. Keep an eye on these lines, guys, especially if you're charting. So what we got here in the four hours, same thing, this long-term rising channel that we've been in forever. We had this rising wedge here, which we broke down out of. And if you look, in, look at the yellow lines here, this is also a falling channel, which we broke up out of here came back down and been getting support off it this whole time. Now, what I'm looking at here, guys, is a falling or descending broadening wedge, and usually these break up. So looking at it from an RSI perspective, I think we're probably gonna come up and test the bottom of this trend line here. And uh, if we were to break through, I'd, I, we don't have much higher to go than that, but. It, I believe that would make a nice move to come up and test this before continuing down. Um, and that would probably be our correction after this area if if it doesn't start here. So keep that in mind. We're gonna look at the bullish and the bearish scenario here. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit or actually zoom in. Keep an eye on all these trend lines. I know it's kind of messy guys, but they're all significant. And if you've been following my channel, you know where they're at and you know the areas we're watching. So let's uh let's zoom in a little bit here all right we're looking at this as a falling wedge which we broke out of yesterday and um, if you watch the video yesterday you'll know i've been watching this channel because i made it from these peaks up here and then the three touches down here and the same thing like in litecoin we we fell out of this channel came down and that's what formed this falling wedge zoom in a little bit and uh you know i said the same thing we were going to come test this line this is where i entered another long um i i sold my my long position coming down from here sold it in here just in case we got rejection off the bottom of this channel and said i would re-enter if we got confirmation that it became support which it did and now it looks like we broke out of this wedge and the measured move off that wedge guys is looking at it as a bull flag is right around the 8,800 area. So keep that in mind. There is a few other targets moving up though, but like I said, let's look at the bearish scenario first. If this doesn't hold, we come back down to test this at around 7,850 somewhere in there. Um, and it breaks through, you know, our next support is testing the top of this wedge. And if that doesn't hold, then obviously we go to this trend line, which is the trend line or the breakout of the broadening, uh, broadening ascending wedge, the bigger one that I showed you with the with the higher target up here to the ninety six hundred dollar range, which I am definitely still steering towards, guys. So, anyways, um, if we were to touch the bottom of this, that's going to be around the seven thousand dollar range. If that was to break, you know, we could be looking at the sixty. You know, I'm gonna move this up unless that was a really fast drop. I don't see us getting up that or down that low. But yeah, between it's 62 and 6300 area, if this wasn't to hold guys, but I believe this is gonna hold if we do even test it right now. Um, I'm gonna, let's look at the other targets here. All right, so the measured move off of this going down obviously gets us down into this seven thousand to seventy two hundred dollar range um and that's if this channel here that we're in is a following falling channel this trend line here um the orange one i was red yesterday i changed it but uh is just a clone of this one and that would make this a a falling channel here so it's possible we could come all, all the way back down to the 70 72 7300 test the bottom of this channel but again guys i don't see that happen um, especially if these EMAs hold as support right here, which they seem to be doing quite well. Um, I think we're building up to pop out of this. I'm going to 
well, let's look at, we make it up to the top of this channel again. It's around 8,600. Um, if we get resistance there, you know, we may build a bull flag and pop up. Hit our 82 area. And this is what my opinion of what's going to happen, guys. Obviously, we could go down. But what I'm thinking is we're going to come up to this 8,800 area, which was our measured move from down here, and then possibly test this for support after we break it and then continue up to our our next highs and we'll show you the oops i'll show you the measured move off that sorry this video is going a little bit longer but I, I don't like to leave stuff out guys i like to let you guys know exactly what i'm seeing so the measured move off of this falling channel if we were to break out right here which is quite possible is that brings us up to the 8800 area um which also like i said that's also the measured move of the breakout of this wedge so that makes a lot of sense that we're going to get up to at least that point, guys. Um, and then, obviously, whatever, we have checked the data to when we get to that point where we're at. So, um, And then we would measure the move out of this, the old channel. Put it up here. That gets us to the 9350 area, which is another area we're probably going to see resistance. And a lot of times when we see resistance at these areas, it's because other people are using the same methods or... You know, they're supporting resistance lines from, you know, way back when. So that's, you know, that's where I'm looking at now. But my ultimate target here is looking at the 96.22 range, somewhere in there. And we'll take a look at the retracement target now from this point. I do want you guys to see this, um, especially if you're new here. This is the daily Bitcoin chart. And as you can see, I've drawn trend lines from each peak of the bear market from the all-time high and then came across touched where we were on the where we broke down at six thousand and then these trend lines we'll zoom in in a minute um each one acted as resistance and then support this was the last one here which we're above now and i believe that's going to be our support for our correction so take a look at that now we're going to look at the bitcoin or the gold weekly chart and take a look at the resemblance. A pattern is a pattern, guys. So keep that in mind. You know what? Real quick, I want to show you too. Sorry, before we go any further into that, I'm gonna look at the one hour um, in Bitcoin. Kind of see what we're looking at here. All right. So <clears throat> you can see this wedge I had. This looks like a wedge forming too from you know the other trend lines. But I'm gonna zoom in real quick and show you what most likely is going to happen here and i'm going to make these lines fatter i don't usually go into the one hour but this is just something to watch for guys and use them two peaks here and then grab grab another one use these two peaks and this could be what we're forming here so we could come back down I see it's going down now, so a bunch of people are probably getting kind of paranoid. But um, to test the bottom of this, it's lining up with the with the uh, 55 EMA, which is the yellow line here. But we could come back down to you know the 79.62 area, um, somewhere in there, and then get a bounce up. You know, bounce around here for a while. But I do believe we're going to break up out of this, guys. Uh, but definitely keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on those areas and back to the bitcoin daily versus the gold weekly now on the gold weekly like i said it looks obviously very similar um, a pattern is a pattern Pat markets are based on human emotion guys and human emotion doesn't change although this is a two 20 year chart compared to a two year chart bitcoin is a lot faster a lot smaller market we have a lot easier access to buying cryptos and stuff than people did in gold back here and Times have sped up, everything's sped up. And like I said, a pattern is a pattern. So I do believe that this is going to play out still. You guys, this is my opinion. This is no guarantee, but I do believe this, this will play out the same as gold did. And if we look right here in 2003, the gold ETF was approved. And I know people say that even if the Bitcoin ETF is approved that, you know, it's not going to change much, blah, blah, blah. You can see what it did to gold so you know make your own decision there also 
you know, people are still calling for, you know, a bigger correction down to the $4,000, $3,000 range, whatever. Um, I don't see that happening, guys. I think everyone that hasn't bought below 6000 and I know I was saying 5000 now I'm saying 6000 If you haven't bought below that, you're probably not going to be able to, in my opinion. Definitely not going to find anything under 5000 in my opinion. So, anyways, that's just my opinion. Let's uh look at my end of the year yearly target in bitcoin is around forty six thousand dollars believe it or not i know that's a bold statement but that's that's what i'm calling for so um, do your own due diligence let's look at how gold bottomed out here now taking a look at how it bottomed out obviously on this longer term trend line we had two touches of it before moving up and breaking through these resistance lines um like i said now we'll there was never any big capitulation candle so you know I, people were calling that and they're calling it a little less and another thing guys i want to stress that i don't believe in the indicators i believe in the rsi support and resistance trend lines some fibonacci and that's really about it guys i don't i don't go look at everybody that was watching the nvt forever and it always called the top always called the top blah 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 look where it's at now you know nobody's talking about it again Try to stay away from the indicators, guys. Learn how to do the charts without them. I'm, it's just much clearer, much easier. There's so many mixed, mixed signals with the indicators. Um, I, I can't stress that enough, but that's my opinion, you know. So, anyways. But anyway, we're looking at that. Now, let's go back to the... I keep getting sidetracked here. I just want to get some points across, I guess. Um, another thing I like to point out that you know this looks awful lot like a hyperwave because it looks the same as bitcoin if it was a hyperwave it would have came down to you know the 50 dollar range somewhere in there never happened hyperwaves bullshit in my opinion guys don't get caught up in that shit um but yeah let's look same thing two touches on this trend line just like gold we're gonna zoom in and take a look each one of these trend lines like i said acted as resistance and then support all the way up and this one here we never really came back down to test so you know that could verify that five thousand dollar bitcoin if we came down to here but it, i don't see it happening guys i do not see it happen i i see this line holding as support so if we drop down directly on this candle right now it would be around the 6550 range so i don't believe we're ever dropping below that and as you can see this support line just keeps rising so if we get up to that 90 let's let's do a measurement on that uh that move if we were go i know they're calling for a you know 30 to 40 percent correction well if we get up to that 60 or 96 dollar range where i believe we're headed and possibly higher let's look at what that would be here's the 90 96 range let's look if we drop down to test that trend line that's going to be about a about a 30 percent correction guys so um, if we did it from here, obviously it'd be lower. I and mean, a lot of people are thinking we're gonna, I, I do not. So I do believe this is going to hold guys. And I, I think we've probably seen the last of even 6,500. I'm going to go as far as to say, but if we do break down below that, then we're looking at the $5,000 range. Um, but I don't see it guys. So anyways, uh, what else did I want to tell? Oh yeah. We could look at the RSI real quick and show you how i've been looking at the rsi for quite some time you can look back at my videos from january is where i where i really started working at this or looking at this gold chart um gold the bitcoin chart but here is the weekly rsi and i drew the trend lines here from 2013 bull market 2017 bull market followed by the bear market and this trend line, we got two points of resistance before breaking through and beginning the bull trend. Same thing, here's the 2017 bull market, 2018 bear market, two touches on this trend line for resistance and broke through, and I've begin, we've began our bull cycle. Um, let's look at the monthly RSI. As you can see, I had these two arches drawn here. And, this is a 2013 bull market, 2017 bull market, followed by the bear market, 
Each one of these arrows represents a new low in the RSI. We had four of them before obviously starting our bull run again, our bull market again. Um, same thing here, 2018 bull market, 2019 bear market. Each arrow represents a new low in the RSI. We had four of them here also. I do believe the only difference here, guys, is going to be this line is going to be a lot quicker. I believe this bull run is, if not already started, um, is really going to pump after we have this correction from around the 90 $9,600 range, somewhere in there, guys. I do believe that's where we're headed. Um, like I said, I could be wrong. If I am, I'll be the first one to admit it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the channel, enjoyed the content, don't forget to click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. And then if you tick the notification bell, that'll get you notified when I post new videos. You won't miss out on anything. As soon as I post them, you'll get notified. You can watch them right away. Um, just in case there was some quick news to try to get out or whatever. But yeah also smash those likes guys leave your comments let me know what you think of the video and i hope everybody has a wonderful weekend i'll see you tomorrow don't forget to leave your comment for the free t-shirt thanks bye